Everybody, hello and welcome to Gaya Pilates online this evening. Welcome to your beginner resistance band classical Pilates workout. I'm looking forward to it. So please make sure you've got your resistance band, you've got your space set up, you've got a little cushion if need be, or whatever props you use using for assistance, comfort. Let's get ourselves ready to begin. All right. So, very important with the resistance band, if you've got hypermobility hyper in your shoulders, if you're prone to any sort of type of dislocation, if you are just super tight in the pecs and bicep area, please just do any, always exercise with caution, with awareness, take it slow and steady and understand what you're doing through your movements, rather than uh, throwing yourself into quick movements, especially as you're going in and out of the exercise, that's so often where most of the little injuries and knees often happen. Okay, so with that being said, let's get moving. I want you to hold your band, you're gonna feel, okay? It's gonna be easier and less stretch wider and more stretch the closer you hold. So everyone will vary in a big position. You will feel it up getting that tight you are, okay? So standing with your feet this distance apart, just tucking your pelvic floor and elongate your spine, opening your nice wide elbows. Take a deep inhale, wide expansion into the ribcage as you lift your band up over your head. Pause it there. Bend the elbows at 90 degrees, stretch them back up, and lower those arms down. I'll show you from a different angle. Inhale, lift up, shoulders are staying drawn down. Bend the elbows, extend the elbows, exhale, release. Repeat. Deep breath in. Bend and stretch, exhale, release. Two more. One more, breathing in, keeping nice for your shoulders. Little bend, pull, and release. All right, keeping just that slight bit of tension in the band. It's all the way up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, sweep and lift it up. Exhale, wash. Repeating, inhale, lengthen it up. What you want to do here is really keep the left and right circular motion equal. You want to be moving through one arm quicker or bending through one arm and stretching through the other. You want that nice, equal, and even length. Inhale, lifting up. This is an exercise for pretty much everybody, unless your shoulder is dislocated. 
Go all the way. We're going to do two more. Breathe in, bring it up and over. One more. Breathing in. Hold it wide when you feel that stretch. Exhale, tuck in the pelvis, round the spine slightly. Inhale, extend, shorten the band behind you. Sticking the tailbone out, opening the chest. Reverse the curve, exhale, round the spine. Pull in the band behind the head. Inhale, open up nice and wide. Exhale, sweep in. Bend to the base of the head. Inhale, lengthen, open up, extend. And one more, exhale. Good. And then lift that band up and over, all the way. Not the chin, stop and roll down. Soften the knees, rounding, hollow that chest out. Drop and empty on your exhale. Inhale, exhale, roll up. Draw your navel in, lengthen your tailbone down to your heels, restack the vertebra. Inhale, lift those arms up. Exhale, stretch wide, pull the band down. Take it slow and breathe. Inhale, deeply rise up. Lift that chest, not the chin. Exhale, round and roll down. Inhale. Exhale, tuck in your navel, roll up. Inhale, lift the band. Exhale, pull wide. Inhale, lift the band up. Wide in between the collarbones. Full circle, not the chin, round and hollow. Exhale, roll down. Good. Just let the band go here. And I want you to stay upside down in this hanging position for a couple of seconds. Deep inhale and exhale, lower the chest towards the knees, making sure you're really disconnecting your neck and shoulders. Feeling yourself letting go of any tension you're holding in your upper back. And then with your hands to the floor, I want you to just bend and stretch one leg at a time, so just gently walking on the spot. Trying to lengthen the hamstring, bending one knee, stretching the other leg. Good, and then centering it in the middle, place your right hand in the center of your feet, twist to the left side, stretch the left leg, and look back up and over that shoulder towards the left hand. Hold that twist, try and lift the shoulders open up and twist that torso. Exhale, release. Switch to change, anchoring the left hand, rotating, twist the spine. Straightening the right leg as you twist to the right. Breathe in. Exhale, bring it down. And drop the spine, hanging in this upside down position, just letting go. Take a deep breath in, and then scoop your belly, roll up, holding your band. Lengthen your tailbone down. 
Restack that spine and just roll those shoulders back for five. Big circle, four. Standing tall, three. Inhale deeply, two. And one more. Good. Standing just a little bit wider now. Take a deep breath in, lifting your arms, keeping your shoulders down. Inhale over into that side bend. Exhale, lift up. Minimal tension in the band. Leave the hip behind. Breathe in. And exhale, lift. Good, good, good. Stay with your arm at the side of your body. Right arm. Left arm up. Okay, straight up. Drop in to the right side, keeping your right arm alongside your body. Maybe lift your, walk your left hand down the band so that there's a little bit more tension in that band. Right hand staying in the side of your leg, giving your feet back, going as far or as deep as you feel you need that stretch, pressing your left foot into the ground. Deep breath in, exhale, slowly lift up. Hands in the same position, left hand to the side of the body. Start drawing the hands down the side of the body, keep the band nice and tight. Pressing your right foot into the ground, side bending as far as feels good. Take a deep breath in. And lift up. Good, 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 good. All right. Same thing, right hand at your side. Get some tension here. You can bend your left arm behind your head. Straighten your right hand. So you're pulling here, your band's nice and tight. Left elbow, single extension, tricep extension, but think up. Okay? You've got to keep tension in that band. I'll show you from a couple different angles. Extend, lift, keeping that elbow steady up to the ceiling and just pull the fist up without any kinks in the wrist. Reaching your right arm down long and maintaining the space between your collarbones. Let's do two more. You should feel that triceps starting to fire. One more, stretch, hold it there. Inhale, over, side bend. Keep the band nice and tight. Loosen it a little bit if you need to. But there's tension here. Exhale, lift it up. Over to the other side. Bend the right arm. Extend the left down alongside the body, creating tension in the band. And then from there, Right arm, bend and stretch up, except. Keeping that elbow steady and elevated to the ceiling, lifting up, dropping that hand all the way back behind the head to the neck. Four more, bend and extend. Three, two, should be feeling it now. And last one, hold it there. Start leaning to the side, loosen the band down slightly if you need to. Keeping some tension in that band. And then exhale, lift yourself up. Ooh, okay, roll the shoulders out, well done. From there, we're gonna open up the band, we're gonna step onto the band now, okay? And I'm gonna face you from the side direction, we're gonna do some lower and upper body work together. So, from here, we're gonna sit back and squat on that imaginary chair, and we're gonna lift those arms up and head in front of us, flat back. Very important, release to stand. 
So you don't want to sit and pull the spine up in that round back. You've got to bend. Stick that tailbone out and lift the band as high as you can. Keep the shoulders drawing down. Okay. You don't want to shrug up to the shoulders to the ears. So drawing down, connecting, stabilizing. See where you can pull the band to that stability. Inhale, prepare. Exhale. Rise up, breathe in. Exhale. Look at the nice long neckline. That's what you want to maintain throughout the movement. Nice long neck. Pulling up through that bag. Inhale, exhale. Press with three. You've got two more to go. Two. One more. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Release it up. All right, good stuff. Okay, from there, bend the knees. Sit back onto that imaginary chair. Just slightly walk your hands down the band. Find the right position for you here. Holding at the band, palms facing one another, flat back. Neck is aligned with spine, not a bend, not down there. It's aligned here, continuing the length of the spine. Pull the elbows up, bend arms. I'll show you this angle. Up as if you're going to reverse the hug of the tree. Think of bent elbows, lift your elbows and pull up. Inhale. Just moving from the shoulders. So I'm not actually lifting my spine up and down. I hold it there and I move from the shoulders to lift my arms, maintaining that flat back. Inhale, up, exhale, down. <sighs> Got to keep that bent elbow. Think of flattening your wing bones, flattening your shoulder blade, dipping down the spine. Getting into some back work, keeping the tummy tight. Sticking your tailbone out, two more. Last one, and hold your arms there. And release, good, roll yourself up. Lovely. Just in this position, step a little bit wide. Soften the knees. Balance on your left leg, float your right leg up. Balance, tension in the back. Little pulses of kicking that right leg into the band, abduction. Try and keep the rest of the body as steady as a rock. Be mindful of this left knee that you're standing on, maintaining its stability. Hands. Five, four, three, two, step wide on the one, lift the left up, and little tiny pulses, beads and pulse. Good, 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 good. Open up, open up, open up. Balancing. Little kicks, stay steady. Three, two, one, and release it. Good, 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 good. All righty. Still, a bit of some arm work. So, are you going to find your tension? The shorter gap between your hands, the more challenging the arm work will be, okay? The further your hands are apart, the easier it's going to be. I'm just stretching my toes here. Feeling quite uh, tense in my feet. I just want to really stretch into them. <laughs> okay. So, hand at your side. I want you to think of cross arm pulls. So when you put your seatbelt in the car on and off, all right, quite a common functional movement. You got to clip that seatbelt in. You grab it from above your shoulder, you pull it down across, and you clip it in. Okay. So, 
Keep your arms pressed down at your side. Other arm, elbow is going to lift up. Okay? Elbow. Elbow. Pull up to the chest. All right? Now you're going to try to extend that arm. Up, lift, bend, lower. Elbow, stretch, bend, lower. Zip up, reach, bend, lower. Right. Bend elbow stretches, passing through this movement. The other arm staying anchored down at your side. Good. And release it at your side, other side, cross, elbow. Just see how high can you lift that elbow, not the shoulder, the elbow. Shoulder stays down. Very different. Lift. Lift. As you bring that elbow up, drawing the other hand down and just start treating that stretch and pull through the back. Now let's fully really extend that arm. Up. Stretch, bend, draw down, lift, stretch, bend, lower. Inhale, pick it up and stretch, lower, down. Two more. Look the difference of the strength on your two sides. Bend and lower. Bend, lift. Bend, lower. Release. Okay. Same thing but different. From the opposite hip, straight arm lifts up. So no bend of the elbow, just up and straight down. Cross arm pull, straight. Pull back. Ready? Get that arm behind your ear. Up and pull. Without kinking through the wrists. And pull. Two more. Come on. Breathe in. Stay nice and tall. One more. To the other side. Cross arm pull. We extend. And lower one. Inhale, lift, creating a nice long neckline. It's not shortening, even though you lift the arm, keep that shoulder drawn down. Two more. One more. And release it. Good, good, good. Stepping into the band again, both feet. Okay, through the center. Little bit of biceps again. Just standing just 75. You want to make it more challenging, hands go down. Scoot, pull up and down. Exhale, squeeze. Try not to rock your body, soften your knees. Scoop and squeeze into the front of your upper arm through this movement. Exhale, lift, lower.
Three more. Two. And last one. And release it. Good. Palms facing up, elbows at your side. Reach and pull back. V position, not forward. We're going in a V position, semi wide and back. Soften those knees. Four. Inhale, reach, staying steady in the body. Two more, we reach. One more, hold it there. Three, two, one, bring it in and release it. Good stuff, guys. Shake out those arms. Okay, I want to do a couple of swings into the arms. Backstroke single arm, nice long. Long arm softening into that shoulder joint. And then reverse it. And you change. And reverse. Up and over. Good. And then just shake it up. Standing tall, open up the collarbone line, lengthening the side line of your neck as you draw your ear to your shoulder. Taking some deep breaths in, creating space because often tension in the neck and shoulders can affect the blood flow. The artery is traveling up through to oxygenating the brain. So really take some nice deep breaths in. Roll your chin in through to center over to the other side. Keeping that collarbone line wide. Breathing into that side body, it's the length of the neck. Good. Roll it to the center and lift it up. Interlace your back fingers behind your hand, behind your back and tailbone. Clasp your hands, roll your shoulders back, extend the elbows, lift those arms up, hold it there. Five, four, three, two. One and release it. Good stuff. Let's have a sip of water and then we're going to take it down onto the mat. Okay. So just gently and easily take it down to the mat. With your band, I want you to just pop it in half and then double it up again so it's more or less that long. We've done this before with abdominals facing the band to the base of the skull for some support. You're going to do that one again. So just bend your knees and very slowly roll yourself down onto your spine. Rest your head on your cushion. All right. Take a deep breath in, lift your arms up, kick your head up, and place the band at the base of the skull, resting your head back onto a cushion. I want you to notice the position of where your elbows are sitting right now. Make sure they're not collapsing wide, but that you're not completely drawing them right in. I want them to be just somewhere in the middle, okay? Draw the shoulder blades down your spine, create that long neckline. 
Inhale to prepare, very lightly grabbing the band. You're going to use your abdominals to float your chest and pull up. And then inhale, lower it back down. So be careful here not to make this an arm exercise, tugging on the band, but to keep this an abdominal exercise, lifting through those abdominals and inhale down. Exhale, right. Inhale, lower. Exhale. Inhale, down. Exhale, right. No movement of neck and shoulders. Inhale, down. We've got three more to go. Exhale. Two more, exhale. Breathe it. One more, exhale, lift. Breathe in and lower it down. Relax a little bit wide. Take a deep breath in. Breathe it up. Good, put those elbows back up into peripheral, draw your shoulder blades down. Take a deep breath in, exhale, lift into the same position, this time holding it there and rotating side to side. Staying off those shoulder blades, maintaining the stability through the neck and the shoulders, using your obliques to move side to side. Small movements, no twisting of the neck, knees are staying steady. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Center and lower it down. Open the elbows wide. Have a breather. Excellent. Good stuff. All right. From there, I want you to reach your arms straight ahead of you. Remember the neutral level pelvis we're always talking about. I had to balance a teacup when your tummy the water. In that teacup, you've got to remain still and steady. Stretch your arms out, but keep them retracted in the sockets. You're not overextending out of the shoulder joint, okay? You've got a connection in the shoulders. You're going to lift one leg up into the tabletop, keeping that knee pressed into the mat, into the band, and then release it down. Lifting up and down. And very important you lift from your hip. So you're not dropping your foot up and down, moving from your knee. You're stabilizing the knee and you're actually just moving from the hip joints. Stabilizing the knee consistently. Up, into band and down. Into band and down. On your abdominals as you lift your knee up into your band. No kinks in the wrists. If you're looking for a little bit more challenge, as you lower the one leg down, switch and check. Tap. Otherwise, one at a time. Five, four, imprinting your lower back. Three, into the mat. Two, one, and Release it down. Good. From there, open up your band. I want you to lift those legs up, place the band into the feet. And then getting a nice grip of the band, you're going to just bend your knees at 90 degrees tabletop position. Now please use the band for support. If tabletop is really challenging for you and challenging on your core, then use the support, okay? But I want you to engage your abdominals. If the tabletop is easy for you, then lower your arms a bit more the way I'm doing it and just maintain a slight bit of assistance of the band in that position. Either thing. So, good, good. Anchor your elbows to the floor. Let's see now. Can you just extend the legs 
and bring it back. If you feel this is a bit challenging for you and your lower back or you don't really feel like you've got the core strength yet, keep one foot down onto the floor and just extend a single leg, all right? So we're gonna take the low off. I want you to keep your lower back imprinted and bend and extend. Exhale, press. Five more. Exhale, inhale. Can you fully extend your legs, keeping your tailbone and your lower back imprinted, glued into the mat? Exhale, three, two, one, and release it. Good. Taking your left foot out, leave the right foot in the back. Give that leg a lovely, nice, long stretch. Flex your foot. Dropping your toes back to your nose. Engage your thigh to straighten your knee. You've got to have that straight leg here. Even if you need to drop that leg a little bit, that's fine. Straighten it. And then lift up to where you can. Hold the leg. Good, and if you're subsiding into that stretch and flex a little bit deeper, draw that leg up a little bit high towards you, stretch through your knee, stretch through your thigh. Gently carry the leg across the body, dropping the other hand over and hold the leg. Keep that leg straight, keep flexing your foot. Bend the knee, pull that foot, that knee up towards your left hand and pull that right knee across the body. Hand to knee, you're going to twist your spine across as far as feels good. Look away from your leg. Deep breaths into your side body. Inhale, think of creating more space between your hips and your ribs and then release it. Let's change. Lift the leg up into the back. Extend the leg, straighten that right leg along the mat. Flex that foot, keep that straight leg. You're going to draw it up. Good. Flex into a little bit more. Extend that knee. Squeeze into that thigh. Breathe and just take it easy. Feel what's going on and just be patient through the stretches. Good. Gently pull that leg across the body. Remain anchored on both your shoulder blades yet. Don't drop it to the full twist. Just stretch that leg. And then bend the knee, hand to knee, pull that knee across, up and over. And now you're gonna start twisting. 
just as far as feels good as you look to your left hand. Drawing the right knee down. Good. And release that. Good stuff. Okay. Keeping your foot in the band, laying on your spine, pulling your foot up, grab the foot, grab your ankle, otherwise just hold the band and you pull that foot up. If your hand can reach, find it, grab it as if you want to pull your foot up to your chest. Hold it there. Good, and let's do the other side. Foot in band. Pull that leg up, otherwise grab the foot if you don't need the band. Just getting a nice deep opening through the hips and pelvis. Good. And then grabbing both feet. The front, of the, front of the inside arches of the feet, bend the knees, pull the knees down to the armpits and pull the feet down to the floor. Feel yourself just being able to release any tension in your inner thighs, in your pelvis, in your hips. Try and anchor your tailbone down and just feel how it feels. If you want to try and stretch into one leg at a time. Good, and then releasing that, hug your knees into your chest, just a little bit side to side. Releasing your left leg down to the mat, hands on your right knee, pulling your right knee up to your chest, and then just very gently rocking the knee from left to right, feeling as Deep stretch, possibly in the hip socket. Just moving in the hip socket. Good, and then release, change legs. Lift that knee up. Good, and then release it. Yeah, grabbing that band, putting those feet into the band, and then placing your feet down onto the mat. Bend knees, heels roots down, okay? Flat back, reach and get a grip of the band, and you're just gonna pull into some biceps here. Yeah. You can flex your feet to anchor the heels down, make sure that band is not gonna slip out from under your heels. And then just scoop into those biceps with every exhale in this position. That's it. Lengthen the reach, straight arms up, overhead, and down. I want you to try and keep your shoulders drawn down away from your earlobes as you reach your arms up overhead. See that you can keep your ribs drawn down to the mat as well. Inhale, lifting, exhale, One more, breathe in and breathe. 
release it down. Remove your cushion out from under if you've got one. Place your hands at your sides, grabbing your band. Feet are rooting down, keeping that band on the mat, on the floor, on the mat. Okay. Take a deep breath in as you're reaching your arms down to the sides of your body, tucking the navel, soften, hollow out your belly as you tilt and lift your pubic bone towards the ceiling and your tailbone off of the mat. And then anchor the pelvis back down in a neutral. Exhale, tuck and tilt. Inhale, lower. Just inviting some movement into the lower vertebrae of the spine. And also just gathering a nice pelvic floor connection. Exhale. Good. Exhale. Tuck and tilt. And then you're going to hold that tuck and you're going to roll up. One vertebrae at a time. Scoop and tuck at the top and then roll down slowly. And scoop and tuck, rolling up. And round and exhale, roll it down. One more, exhale, scoop and tuck. Exhale, round and roll down. Good, good, good. From there, I want you to turn it onto your side, roll it onto your side, buddy. Placing your left foot into the band and then lowering yourself back down to the mat. Bend your right knee up in tabletop position. The knee is as high as your hip. Right? And then you're going to feel where you need to hold onto the band that you've got some nice tension in that band. And you're stretching your leg, lengthening that leg out of the hip socket. Your leg is in line with your hip, so not down there, not too high, just in line with the hip. Right. Just up and down, keep it straight. Think of trying to grow your leg longer as if you're standing down on some imaginary floor. So the kneecap is facing forward. Right. Now it's really important that you keep your leg straight. Okay, As you lift it up, flex and pull back. Lifting up. And draw back. Notice I'm not opening my hips wider or narrowing my hips. I'm moving my leg in line with its hip socket. Lift up, parallel line of hip, draw down the line. Squeeze and lift. And stretch to lengthen. Hold that long straight leg and again up and down your foot. Just open close, moving from the hip, finding a glute connection to lift that leg. Good. Now turn the toes up slightly as well as the kneecap. And we're going to lift and pull, opening to that hip. So now it's in a V position, a diagonal, we're slightly externally rotating the hip socket. Slightly turning the knee out. But make sure you're not collapsing onto the hip. You stay square. Exhale, lift. Good. One more. And release it. Lift yourself up. Cross your legs. Reach it forward. Just hold it there for a moment. Trying to relax your hips. Good. And then lift yourself up. Let's go to the other side. Placing that body down. Bend and lift that knee. Flex the foot. 
Straighten the leg, kneecap facing forward. Just a little up and down. Now you really want to make sure you've got some tension going on in the band. You want a little bit of stretch happening there, okay? You're going to feel it so much more. Think of lengthening that leg out of the hip socket. Create space between your ribs and your thighs. A lot of short, deep, low back muscles are here working here and after you're realizing that I want you to try and feel and connect your glutes through this movement. Good. Now from there, with the flexed foot, we're going to start lifting it up and drawing it down. Inhale up, exhale down, maintain tension in the back. Breathe in and exhale. Steady hips, think of sticking the tailbone up behind you as you lift that leg up. Straight line up and down. Good. Now we're going to turn that leg out. V position. Up and down. Open and lower. Okay. Slightly externally rotating. Got to keep that leg straight. Engage your thigh. Kick it up to so the hip opener. It's a hamstring stretch, but that's also a hip and glute strengthener. Keep your pinky toe connected to the band. Two more. Last one, lengthen the leg, parallel it, keep the kneecap facing forward and just a little abduction and abduction. Open, close, up and down. Grow the leg longer out of that hip socket, find the beard connection. And release. Good. Lift yourself up, cross that leg, fold, inhale, exhale, lower yourself down. Just for a moment, have a breathing here, hold the stretch. And then slowly lift yourself up. Good. Take a nice wide seated position here. And you can lift up and by sitting on a cushion if you want, depending on how tight you're feeling. Breathe in and walk those hands forward. Flex your feet, remaining nice and wide. Deep breaths, hold it here. Keep it wide, flexing the feet. Deep breath in and roll up. Bending the left leg and rotate your right leg. Circle arms, inhale, exhale, reach. Hold that stretch. Roll it up and change. Left leg out, right leg in, lift your body, twist. Inhale, circle those arms. Exhale, reach.
Good, releasing that, lifting up. Let's go to hands and knees. Take a breath, lift those knees, tuck the toes in the upside down, V and fold the thing. Press away from your hands, opening your fingertips wide, connecting all your fingertips and being aware of how you're pressing your weight through your upper and lower right arms. Flat back, lift that tailbone up to the ceiling. And then very slowly walk your hands back to your feet, release your head, neck, shoulders, and roll up on an exhale breath. We're going to finish it off with one big roll down. Inhale, lift your arms. Breathe in, pick that chest up, Love your chin, round and roll over, exhale. Leaving and letting go of any remaining tension. Breathe in. Letting go, breathe out and roll up. All the way up to the top. Take one more deep breath in, lift your arms up. Taking in all that oxygen, all that air, all that life, all that love, and then bringing it down into your body and into your heart. Well done, everybody. Namaste. Have yourself a beautiful evening. Join me again tomorrow for some more and drink some water. Sending everybody lots of love. Mwah. Hello?